were trying to. We had the responsibility as the president of the G7, but I think none country can do this alone and by itself. That's why it's important to be in, uh, the, in, in a multilateralist uh, discussion with other countries. And that's why it's important to uh, stay and to have every country at the table. So we had all the countries of the G7, including uh, United States of America, but we also invited ministers of African countries uh, and of European countries, uh, which are not in the G7, because um, no country has achieved gender equality in the world, but no country can do this alone. So we are trying to get a lead about it, but not alone, because we can't do anything alone. Do you think that's also one of the reasons why France has been one of the strong voices about regulating technology? Because it's not just about making it fairer from a taxation perspective, but also making sure that technology takes into consideration fundamental human rights and obviously gender rights as well. Yes, it's a very important point for France. You know, the President Emmanuel Macron uh, launched a call with the Christchurch call in Paris last week and he had many um, personalities who were there. We had John Kerry for the US, we had Jack Ma for China, uh, we had Theresa May for the United Kingdom, uh, we had the Prime Minister of New Zealand, obviously, and so all these countries and all these platforms uh, put that commitment in order to fight uh, the violent content um, online and it's important with the G7 equality we made a statement and we urged the platforms uh, to put off every violent content um, we are waiting for Twitter and Facebook to take their responsibility seriously Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.